Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Good? Good. Alright, story time. So, um, coming back home from New Year's, New Year's Day, there's a little more of a story than what I showed in the vlog, which I'm going to link right there. Obvious promo is obvious. Alright, so, setting the scene. We're getting ready to leave DC around 1231, I wanna say. Bye kid! Hey, and we're trapped. Kristen, pick it up. Kristen? Driving's fine, it's starting to get a little bad, but it's Pennsylvania. But we're we're chugging, we're going along, we're doing just fine. We drop off Andy, and we're dropping off Chloe, and it's starting to get a little eh. So I'll just let the the scene play for it. Are you all sad that you forget anything? Are you sure you don't want to stay here for the night? You do remember what happened last time. Alright, so a little backstory with this. So, coming home one time from college. For Thanksgiving senior year, we were just like, why don't we go home together? <laughs> Unbeknownst to us, um, there was like a giant snow storm blizzard thing. And at that point, the semester is really getting bad. And the only thing on my mind was getting home. And in my mind, I'm still like, you know what? We're still gonna go. We're still gonna drive through this. It's not that bad. It took us, the trip is usually two hours. It took us six. I got stuck almost like three or four times. So that's what she's referring to. So. Don't, don't talk about that. It, it won't be like that, I promise. Nope. So I wholeheartedly ignore her sentiment and concern and premonition, I guess. And continue driving Kristen home. Alright Kristen, you're the last one I have to drop off. Almost there. And then we can end this 15, 15 hour journey. Oh no. So, we've had... Every time I've had an issue, or she's had an issue with vehicles, we've always been in the presence of each other. This started all the way back in high school when we were riding bikes to her exam, actually. Her final exam in, the, in June. And she got a flat tire. Fast forward a little later, and we've had a little too many run-ins with vehicles, especially together. So this is already like a bad omen to begin with. It's okay, it's gonna be different. It's going to be different. We keep on trucking, we keep on going. So, we get to her road, and it's a country road. Yeah, the road, high road. Really sharp crown at the top. Ditches on the side. And a, it's New Year's Day, and B, it's a country road, so is it plowed? <laughs> no! You also have like the snow drifts, so not a bad, not a good time. Oh look, there's another car coming over here. I'm just going to get over to the side. Turn my wheel a little bit, straighten back out. Everything's gonna be fine. Why am I still getting sucked into the side? What about. Whoa! So there we were, kind of confused, really confused, and in a ditch. 
So basically what happened is if you have the road, you have my car, they literally like picked it up like 15 feet, plopped it on the side in like three, three feet of snow. In comes Krista, and my, meanwhile, meanwhile, we were probably about a quarter mile, if that, away from her house. Yeah. That close. So she calls her dad and brother, and they come. Her brother's really trying to get us out. Her dad's like, no. We had a fun little run-in with AAA, which I don't have, but now do until October, and a towing company. We had some interesting towing companies because me and Kristen played a little telephone and kept on calling towing companies. I had one, the guy's voicemail sounded like he was drunk. I had another guy who picked up but immediately hung up on me when I asked for a tow that day. We ended up getting AAA and towing company. And the kid comes, his name's Brandon. If you're, if for some reason you're watching this, you're awesome. Same with you, Michelle. Brandon comes down, is like evaluating the car. Here's one of, one of two Kristen moments of this. So she's sitting in the car, she's like, should, should we get out of the car? Should we get out of the, should we get out of the car? I'm gonna ask him, I'm gonna ask him. Um, um, then, should we get out of the car? At that moment, we scared the ever-living crap out of the kid. Because he was not expecting someone in the passenger seat. But he's like, eh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. So, he hooks us up, we're getting towed out. Meanwhile, the creepiest thing I've ever, like, I've been on roller coasters where, like, they crank you. But going backwards in your own car, knowing that you're dangling off a ditch, it's really terrifying. He gets us out, and we're, like, he's just like, okay, like, put it in drive, is it all good? We're like, yeah. So he starts walking away, and then Kristen moment number two. Should we tip him? We're gonna tip him. We're gonna tip him. We wanna tip you! Literally screams that out of the car window. We end up driving off, driving back to her house, and she demands that I stay at her house. Yay. Next came the issue of, do we tell Chloe? We decided then, no, but then about like three days later, we were having a heart to heart, and I'm just like, you wanna know something? And she's like, what? And I'm just like, we got in a ditch, that's why I stayed at Kristen's. So yeah, that was my story of the rest of my New Year's. So, judging by that, the only way we can go is up from here. Literally and figuratively. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Hello! And I will see you guys next week. So, until then, stay awesome out there, stay out of ditches if you have snows, and I will see you next Tuesday. Alright?